Hey, have you heard about the new cars that drive themselves? No, seriously. Volvo is coming out with self-driving cars. You know, what could go wrong with this? You know, first of all, we've always thought that was cool. I mean, cars that could drive themselves and you could talk to them. Remember Knight Rider? Kit, I'm in trouble. Well, we always thought that was really cool, but never really imagined it to be in reality. Well, Volvo plans on launching their first uh, self-driving cars in 2014. So that's not long. But what could go wrong with it? I mean, really, nothing ever really goes wrong with cars, right? I mean, you walk into a, an auto repair shop, what do you see? The Maytag man? Do you have any aces? I don't know about you, but that's not what I see. You know, if you go to a service department, you're trying to race down the service uh, guy, you know, to get some help. Technicians are busy, cars are filling the shop. I mean, cars break down, let's face it. Well, we've all heard stories and joked about the Maytag man, but this may become reality. No, I'm sorry, sir. We cannot repair your car here. What you need to do is take it down the street to the Geek Squad at Best Buy. They will repair your car for you. Have a great day. So, do you have any jacks? What could go wrong with a self-driving car? Like running a red light. No, officer, it was not my fault. I was recalculating. So, I'm assuming this is some type of a GPS navigation system. I don't know. But, have you ever used one of those? Seriously? Are you sure you want to be sporting in a new Volvo in some of the places that's going to take you? I mean, the car is driving. What can you do? About the only thing you can do is lock your door. Or, I guess you could. Volvo power up the self-defense mechanisms. And they say during their first launch that these cars are only going to be able to reach 31 miles per hour. Can you imagine that in the microwave society we live in? And I say microwave society because if we can't have our food cooked in one minute, we're mad. I mean, if we're going 38 and 40, someone's honking at us. 31 and a 40? Sorry, it's my car. The car's driving. But since the car's driving, I guess you could turn around and tell them. Sorry, it's not me. The car is driving. It only goes 31 miles per hour. Well, let's talk about benefits. Are there any benefits? Volvo, I'm in trouble. Come pick me up. Yes, I would like to order three pizzas. And I got a credit card to charge that too. No, delivery is not necessary. I'm going to send my car to pick it up. If you'll just put it in the truck, I'd appreciate it. No, sorry son, I just don't have time to take you to school today. But go jump in the car, I'm going to have the car take you. What about some loopholes? Yes, yeah, officer. I have been drinking, but I am not driving. But this could be pretty cool. What if you could call the supermarket and give them your list of groceries? And yes, I'll have my car down there in 10 minutes. And if you just put them in the car for me, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. But what if you're rich and don't drive anyway and you have a chauffeur? Heck, you can get some of your work done. Where do you ever get to the office each morning? But you're going to need to, because at 31 miles an hour, you're going to be behind when you get there. No, but seriously, there was an article in the Wall Street Journal about Volvo launching this in 2014. And the first launch is supposed to go 31 miles per hour, and they're working on technology, you know, to go faster than that. But these are the same folks that worked on grasshoppers technology. You know, they, they studied grasshoppers because they jump around without colliding with each other to develop a, a way of driving that people don't wreck. No, seriously. If you go down in the description, I got a video of it. They did intensive research on grasshoppers. Maybe that's where the self-driving cars are coming from. I don't know. But one thing I do know, things do go wrong with cars. Uh, auto repair shops, body shops are full of cars all the time. And needing someone to repair them is not going to go away. And if a faulty floor mat can cost Toyota $1.2 billion, can you imagine what this may run into? If something goes wrong. But I will give Volvo this. It's their goal and their intention to create cars that will not get into accidents and save lives. If they're able to pull that off, hey, thumbs up to Volvo. And I hope they do. But when 2014 rolls around, I'm going to let the other people test this out see how it works. Just a few things to consider if you're going to buy a self-driving car when they become available. So tell me, what's your thoughts on a self-driving car? What do you think about it? Please leave us a comment below and let us know what you think about it. Talk soon.